Hello, it's Andy from PCR Global with a very short video. It's a bite-sized course review of some CPD that myself and Andrew Collins have undertaken uh, recently. It is the IIRSM Managing Risk the Essentials course. So this review is not sponsored by IRSM in any way. They don't know I'm doing it. It's just worth doing. It's worth, what I mean is this video is worth doing. It's worth talking about our experience on this course. So, CPD is very important. Continuing professional development. Some people say continuous, some people say continual. Continuing is what you'll find, we'll find on the internet. But CPD is very important to, to keep up our knowledge base, to improve our knowledge base. CPD, as we know, can be done in short bits, long bits, long courses, masters, bite-sized toolbox talks, whatever it is. The important thing is to reflect. It's to reflect on the experience see how that fits into our the way we conduct ourselves see if we can take anything extrapolate anything really important out of it and then hopefully approach issues and risks risks and issues in a in a more effective manner so to the course IIRSM managing risk the essentials so first and foremost who are IRS IIRSM they're the International Institute of Risk and Safety Management. They're based down in London. Am I a member? Yes, I am a member. I'm also a member of IOSH. I'm a member of a number of, of membership bodies. I'm a member of IIRSM. I haven't had that much to do with them historically. So again, it's not here. I'm not here to actually promote them for that type of reason. I want to promote the course due to the way we felt about the course. So what do IIRSM say about themselves? They're an independent and speak freely. They champion risk management to drive positive change for both employee and organizational well-being. This is them saying that, that's not us saying it. This is off their website. We do this through setting standards, through connecting people and organizations, and providing practical education, training, advice, and resources. They also say they have a community of 8,000 plus members globally representing all risk disciplines from compliance, environmental management, health and safety, insurance, internal audit, quality management, security, one of my favourites, project management and more. That is one of the big differences with IIRSM. They are more holistic, more enterprise risk management focused. IIRSM was established in 1975, a couple of years after I was born, and represents members in over 70 countries. What is their vision? Their vision is a future where people live and work in a safer and more sustainable world. Well, surely safety and health, that's what we're all focusing for. Sustainability is absolutely massive, as we know. I'm also a member of AIMA, again, which is a fantastic uh, body. To be safe and healthy, we need the planet also to need to be safe and healthy in its own environment. So that's another huge matter. So their mission is to transform decision making through collective risk management capability. I really like that, to transform decision making. Risk management is all about decisions, isn't it? Now, I often say the decisions we make, the knowledge we have and the decisions we make can keep people safe. So important that. So back to the course, what are the learning outcomes on the course? Well, this is from IIRSM themselves. So the learning outcomes for the course that we took, there were six of them. The principles of risk management and how to improve your decisions. Did we cover that? Yes, we did. And we utilized a couple of frameworks, but we, I was really glad that we focused quite a bit on ISO 31000. Impact of the external world and your internal organization. Did we cover that? Yes, we did. That was really interesting. I love the way they done that. They took a look back in history and how history has changed over the years from our perceptions back and really back in the day to what they actually turned out to be currently. I thought that was quite clever. Practical tools to assess, manage and communicate risk. Yes, we did look at risk communication, uh, wrong risk assessment tools. Frameworks for risk management. Again, we lent into 31,000, which I thought was really, really good. Risk management, management systems and internal audit. We did talk about management systems and the importance of internal audit. So bang on, we did that. The critical importance and role of people and culture. Yes, that came at the end of the, the two days. It was two hours for, for on one day and two hours on the next day. 
and we did cover that at the end as well so we did we certainly did reach the learning outcomes who do they say to attend so the course is for anyone who needs a fundamental understanding of risk management anyone who needs a fundamental understanding of risk management yeah it does give you that sort of that f lower level appreciation for it of course how much can you pack into four hours but certainly i know i've done um obviously longer courses than this more in-depth courses than this this is a look at it you know but certainly for the amount of time that we had an awful lot was crammed in we did not waste any time i've done a, i've done a, a, some courses lately whereby the introductions have been about about 30 to 40 minutes and if i'm really honest i don't want to know about everybody else's background if i'm really honest uh, i paid my money i want i want to get on the course i want to start the course we didn't hang about on this course we got straight into it and i really really appreciated that risk management is becoming a prerequisite for many roles especially the more senior you progress i certainly agree with that it really is and where it's missing it has an impact so yes i definitely agree with that um, you should attend this course if you are a business owner looking to improve your business performance and resilience well as a business owner myself along with the other directors for definite and actually what we're doing our other directors are actually going to go on the course as well now we're a risk management company ourselves we could teach this course however this is coming from somebody else a very very experienced individual we've put out I put my trust in irsm for this spent my money with them and then that makes me want all of our guys to go on it so they don't just listen to it from me all the time if you're a manager within a small or medium-sized enterprise with many different roles and risks to juggle would it benefit you for that yes it gives you a wide appreciation Now the penny drop the penny was dropping for me in a number of areas and i and i know in the discussions in the rooms we had it was certainly dropping for other people as well so definitely if you're any type of manager i actually think it it's open to anybody i mean certainly i say i want to push our guys onto it if you're working in a risk related discipline including but not limited to health and safety for definite compliance yes business continuity for resilience environmental management insurance quality management, security etc absolutely definite all of those as you've got hr in there i think human resources definitely i know it says etc but definitely we do a lot with hr and certainly um it's good for hr uh, managers officers people with a hr role to have a really good understanding of risk at this level so it opens it up and then you can go off on different tangents and do other courses people responsible for implementing management system standards projects or change so there's three things in there isn't it the management system standards myself being an auditor would it benefit for definite because i see that a lot of auditors that we work with get audited by on behalf of clients as well they've you know with, i don't want to say one trick ponies but risk is not a, risk is not there for a you know it's not a one risk risk is it it's not it covers everything risks come from everywhere so definitely yeah especially the risk-based approach now required from the management standards it would certainly if i sort of didn't have the knowledge that i've got based on the study and the, the experience i've got yeah if i would have picked this course up in 2008 i'd have been thrilled with it it opened a new world to me back then so definitely for management system standards projects yes um project risk management you know you, you've obviously got the risk logs and stuff required with your prints too as well um but it would certainly make you think why and anybody involved in change management it would open your eyes to risk of course change change management for me is quite a, a very a specific area um which I think it's fascinating all all organizations go through change all the time i see organizations going through change and they don't do anything about it people talk about a management of change process they don't actually apply it there might just be a document somewhere they're not actually getting all the training up front you know you're flagging change you're doing a change review you then you're changing what you need to change then you're training people on the change then you're doing the change and then you're reviewing the change to see how well it's been implemented very rarely the change management really big change management programs work because we're trying to change humans at the end of the day so change management i think is an area of risk management itself which is under undervalued underappreciated under recognized even 
it's huge. It's change. We go through change all the time in PCR, so it's really important. So I do think that's right. And if you're looking to build a foundation in risk management before completing further risk management training, such as managing risk in a day, which is basically a similar course to this, but face to face in a day, not four hours over two days, or the Nibosh IIRSM certificate in managing risk. I've just looked online, that's not out yet. Obviously, it's going to be piloting, and I'm going to be doing that course myself. Um, that looks an interesting course. Or you're simply looking to learn how risk management can help you do your job better. Yes, for definite. I think it would be good if organisations got behind their staff and put them on this. Uh, I can imagine me in my previous roles, if I would have gone this as an individual and I paid my own money, then I would have gone back into the organisation with all these weird and wonderful ideas and then they just would have been mine in the organisations I've been in and they, in some of them anyway it would have been well no no one else would have bought into it so I don't disagree with that whatsoever but what I would say if you are going to go on this course put a few people on it together so we have that collective understanding then so some course information this online course is designed to deliver a practical and engaging experience it definitely done that using real world case studies definitely we did do that some really good studies in there and it's not just that they were really good studies there's some of the obvious studies which which we covered but the way the tutor took us through them and the angle they came at them was far better than what I've seen other people do so I really did appreciate that short bursts of content delivery yeah, we didn't have a break, so we two section, sessions of two hours. We didn't have a break, that's fine. If you wanted to go for a wee, then you go for a wee, obviously. Um, some videos, some really good videos. Interactive polls, yeah, I like that. Um, and group discussions in breakout rooms. Always good when you can go off in a breakout room. The, the, two, the teams that I went into were fab, and we had some good discussions in there. Um, so, yeah, that was good. The experience is not only an enjoyable one, but you will gain invaluable knowledge and skills. Any course is what you get out of it. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a risk junkie. I'm a security junkie and a safety junkie myself. But I think for anybody, um, you, you, a lot of the times you get out of it what you, 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 you know, you, you want to get out of it. I think these types of courses are, you know, as an individual, you, you want to do them. You know. There's certain courses out there in, in in the offering. I don't mean risk management course. I mean in general. When you look at training in general, and people are on them because they've got to be on them. Those courses are always difficult to teach, and those courses are always difficult to ensure that the students take something away with them. But for this type of course, generally everybody wants to be there. A little bit more about the course. So let's go to the course page. Let them do the talking. So here is the website um, for them. And we're going to talk about the course. So about the course, here we go. Who should attend? We've just covered that. About the course. The course overview. Okay, what are we saying? Too often organizations or projects can be disrupted by several small events that reinforce one another in unexpected ways. Therefore, risks need to be openly discussed, challenged, escalated, and communicated. This is integral to strategy development, operational management, and project success. So, so can you see that the three different levels there that we're talking about? This course provides a practical introduction to the principles, tools, and processes you can be used to improve decision making. It's all about decision making. Decisions cost lives, enabling you to become more resilient and better prepared for a crisis. Okay, yeah, don't disagree. You will learn about principles, applying risk management, different between uncertainty and risk, types of strategic financial operation hazards and risks, emerging and unseen risks. That was good. Organizational risk radar, techniques, practical tools, risk registers, interpreting stats, recording, reporting, and communicating risk, culture, behaviors, and values, mental shortcuts and heuristics. That's always good. Risk management frameworks, policies, and standards. Yes, risk appetite and objectives. Appetite is always a. It's an interesting one. There's certainly an appetite out there. Uh, we and and most people I talk to in the world of risk will say, oh, yeah, they'll they'll regurgitate what risk appetite is because they've read it somewhere in a standard in the orange book or something. But actually, when you start analysing it, some and analysing a risk statement from a company, when you think about that, how does that relate to the ground? That's the important part. How does the manager? How does the supervisor? How does the operative? know what the actual organization's risk appetite is how does that statement those few words actually get into the ground so i don't think risk appetite statements has anything wrong with them 
um, and I fully get that everybody's got an appetite then we say yeah the risk appetite then we say the risk tolerance and then we say the risk capacity I get all that but, it, but getting that onto the ground is different and you're not that's not going to fall out of a statement onto the ground unless you're active on the call face with individuals who are making decisions and let's, let's not forget about it. We, I mean, do we need to go to an appetite statement to know much risk? Usually at the managerial level, there's going to be constraints for the amount of money you spend. There's going to be a health and safety department who would, who would all over risk appetite uh, in their own way. So it's, a, it's an interesting subject, risk appetite. We certainly did talk about it. Aligning your risk management system with other system standards. That's always an interesting one about integration. We did internal audit. There's a lot there. So over four hours, you're obviously not going to get really deep into any one of those, but it's certainly, if you're not that aware of them, is really going to really going to leave you wanting to go that little bit, little bit further. So did we cover them? Definitely. Uh, and we covered them in as much depth as we could, given the time. Obviously, it's a short course. Resources and takeaways. I thought this was really smart. The course handbook. We'll talk a little bit more about the handbook. We certainly got one. Everything was clear. You could see the pictures. It'd been very well put together. Uh, a risk checklist we got. The risk register template we got. Again, templates are templates. Um, it was a bit. It's a basic template, but it's good enough. Hundred percent good enough to go for the course to explain things to us. So that's absolutely great. An example risk policy. That's always good if you're not sure what a risk policy actually looks like and what should be in it. So the risk policy was good. The bow tie template. I I, I love bow ties. I mean. You know, I, I like bow ties to the extent where um, you just you just write a, a bow tie on a whiteboard just to even get a concept across. I think the fantastic um, depiction so people can see what comes in the event, top event, and then what goes out. So I'm a big fan of bow ties, and I got a badge at the end of it, a certificate of attendance. So the plus point there, I thought, was the handbook, and this for me was one of the one of the biggest plus. Uh, plus points. I don't know Steve Fowler. Um, what's he say about him? Steve provides consultancy services specialised in international business strategy, risk and resilience, occupational health and safety and change management. Steve is a prolific writer on risk management and business strategy, risk in major projects, international development and on competency standards for the risk management profession. He previously served 12 years as Chief Executive Officer in the Institute of Risk Management. He's a member of the British Standards Institution Committee for Risk Management and serves on risk management committees for major organisations. Steve, for me, on this course, like I say, I don't know him. He's a highlight on the course. His his delivery is is phenomenal. His is the way he puts his the way he articulates it. His his knowledge of risk for me personally over the years probably I've not heard anybody articulate it as as, as well as Steve is really getting it. And and I was coming back in the in the chat rooms. You can do some chats with some with some points. Very welcoming. Very open for discussion. So that was that was absolutely fantastic of Steve. Really really good. What else does it say? The training experience, welcoming, definitely. Expertise, undoubtedly. Engaging, the trainer, certainly Steve, we had, again, like I've just said, practical tools we covered. Networking, a great opportunity to meet and learn from delegates. Yes, it's, again, there's not that much time to do that. But, again, depending on the your level of your knowledge going on to the course, they could, you know, if, if you haven't got that much knowledge, then yeah, because everybody on that course was not of... Um, everyone on that course understood risk everyone on that course had something to offer so yeah I think again depending on the, your, your level of understanding will depend on how much you get out of it but I certainly got stuff out of it testimonials well actually I'm actually going to read mine out to you because I didn't I didn't know they'd used mine they, they're obviously when you fill your feedback form out yes I was happy to put it on the website and I really was so this really was a comprehensive insight into risk management I undertook the course at part of my annual CPD and would highly recommend for those new to risk management or those wishing to brush up I cannot rate the two to highly enough I've already said that supremely knowledgeable and delivered um, the course in a very professional manner thank you very much again that's not me blowing smoke this is me being honest I, I love my training I've spent th tens of thousands of pounds of my own training and I hate seeing people wasting money on training so that's why I'm 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 promoting them so much there's a lot of other stuff on the website that you can obviously have a look at nearly there 
and the delegate handbook I'm obviously not going to show you that entire handbook it's the stairs but it was 34 pages of good stuff really good really clear um, really worth um, getting really taking and going away not putting it in the bin two sessions of two hours like I said we had videos case studies exercise and pause yes we did live on a remote learning platform so this was not just done like over zoom this was done on, a, on a, an actual platform with, with where you can with the chat groups and stuff so that was good and yes, I got a certificate for attendance. So the cost, this is the big one. This is the big one. As a member, and I'm a member, you get that for £125. As a non-member, £175. That seems, you know, a lot of money. However, in comparison, when you shop around, that is minuscule. That is not a lot of money for what we got on that course. So at the end of the day, and here is the big one did it do what it says on the tin that's what matters for me i've had some discussions with people lately and and you know, everybody's got a perception you only get what you pay for we did not get what we paid for we got four times more than what we paid for and that's a fact with this course when you look at the other courses the costs of the other courses we've got four times more than what we paid for and we got that from somebody who's got a proven route he's been on the ground he knows his stuff inside and out so did it do what it says on the tin does exactly what it says on the tin if you remember the old the old adverts thumbs up or a thumbs down a definite thumbs up certainly worth the price absolutely highly recommended and there is my certificate so thank you very much i hope you found that useful as I said earlier on, you know, I'm all about promoting the CPD. This is a course that's worth it. One thing left. Thank you very much, IIRSM. Don't trust it. Test it. It's worth testing.